Uh, Louis Roger was um, founded in 1776. The owner uh, today, uh, Frédéric Rousseau, uh, is from the seventh generation of the Louis Roder family. Uh, Louis Roder himself was a fantastic guy, great, great man. He could anticipate the future of the Champagne region just by deciding to buy a vineyard. Uh, and at that time, uh, there was nothing official saying where are the best vineyards. There was no classification. Uh, today, we have a classification. Uh, between Grand Cru, Premier Cru, and Cru Périphérique. But Louis Roger uh, himself could find where, where the best, the nicest plots, which could give the best grapes, uh, quality of grapes from the Champagne region. So the oldest uh, vineyards from Louis Roger are in Verzy and Verzenay, uh, in the Montagne de Reims, that was bought by Louis Roger himself uh, more than 200 years ago. And these vineyards, where well, we have a few plots, are Grand Cru classified. So today we have uh, 240 hectares. It's only Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. 55% uh, of these 240 hectares are Grand Cru classified. Today we have uh, seven different labels. Three estate wines are the expression of, uh, of the three main area of the Champagne region. And then we have Cristal. Cristal was created in 1876 for the Emperor, the Tsar of Russia, Alexander II, on his demand, on his request. And the Tsar himself was very keen on Louis Roger, so he asked the Roder family if they could create for him the best cuvée, the best cuvée as possible, uh, the crème de la crème from Louis Roger. As he was a bit paranoid, he wanted it to be made in a clean glass bottle so that he could see if there was no poison or any uh, bombing inside the bottles. And, uh, and it was made only for, for him, specifically for him. Cristal Rosé was created in 1974. Then we have, of course, this Brut Nature, new baby, new quality. Also made, I would say, like an estate wine, because it's a vintage wine uh, with grapes coming from our own vineyards only. It was clearly the idea of, uh, of Frédéric Rousseau, uh, the president, the owner. As from the seventh generation, he wanted to create his seventh quality. And uh, Frédéric Rousseau brought the idea. Uh, uh, Jean-Baptiste Le, Le, Le Caillon is here for the technique. And, and, uh, and uh, Philippe Stark is here for the philosophy of this cuvée. Wine with no dosage, uh, of biodynamic, of no malolactic, uh, a pure wine, a, a, a wine of authentic wine, authentic wine, a wine of truth. We need for this cuvee rather ripe grapes, so we need for this cuvee a rather warm year. 2006 was a warm year. These, these grapes were picked up at a very specific time. It has these evaluated aromas, uh, I would say, as a nut. Uh, it's a bit smoky. Mm. We have a nice uh, minerality also. Mm. And of course, uh, what's really uh, amazing about this wine is the freshness. Uh, we still have lots of freshness for, for a 2006 coming from a, from a warm year huh? and, and villages villages which, which really had lots of heat. Huh? It's a modern wine.